Finally, I get to sit behind the right side of my monster. Uh, I'm sorry I neglected you this long. I love playing this side of the kit. Uh, on the Octavarium album in the sessions, uh, using the, uh, the John Bonham kit and then on tour, utilizing this for the new songs as well as some old songs. It's, it's been a lot of fun for me playing this setup. And um, using this setup in the studio definitely directly inspired... Uh, not only the way I play, but even the composition to some of the songs when writing the Octavarium songs. I ended up bringing this setup into the studio thinking I might use it for one or two songs, maybe. I ended up using it on probably half, more than half of the Octavarium album. It was on uh, The Root of All Evil, I Walk Beside You, The Answer Lies Within, uh, Never Enough, First Half of Sacrifice Sons. It was used a lot, and uh, it really inspired me to try a different approach to a lot of these songs. Uh, a song like I Walk Beside You is incredibly straight ahead um, as a result of the song, but also the kit. Uh, you know, I was doing more of a, like a Larry Mullen Jr. kind of approach. You know, he plays a small kit. Um, Root of All Evil, I was able to really kind of do, a, you know, like a Dave Grohl, Taylor Hawkins kind of thrashing away, you know. Um, the Answer Lies Within was more of a, a simple kind of cold play groove, uh, almost John Bonham-esque at times. So in all of these cases, I was able to kind of uh, transcend into, into a different kind of personality as a result of this kit. So the track I'm going to play now is the track Never Enough, and um, this song was definitely inspired by uh, my love, my newfound love over the past couple of years for the band Muse. And uh, surely uh, a lot of my parts are very much inspired by Dominic Howard's playing and uh, the way I apply myself to this song and to the parts and, and the way the parts kind of inspired some of the song. So, you know, they kind of go back and forth. But in any case, uh, this song, Never Enough, is, is, you know, in that kind of real just open groove kind of um, feel. Uh, a lot of jungle grooves and hi-hat and a lot of big open crash grooves. And uh, I just want to break down uh, three different verse grooves that I play in this song. Uh, none of it is terribly difficult. Really, the, the key to a kit like this is simplicity, actually. Uh, you know, you, you can't get that fast or technical on a kit like this. It, it, it kind of defeats the purpose. So um, I want to just play, uh, I'll start with the, the groove that's in the first verse which is basically just a jungle groove, and I'll, I'll play it normal speed and then slow it down. This stuff is all in 4-4, four four, so it's just a, a steady 4-4 four four pulse. And uh, Okay, so here we go. Okay, let me break that down slowly, and uh, one of the things I should note is I'm playing most of the accents, uh, obviously on the snare, but at the end of every four phrases, uh, I'll play them either on the bell of the ride or on the splash, uh, just to spice it up a little bit. But in any case, here's that same groove now slowed down. I'm going to do it one more time still, even slower, so you can really see the sticking. Okay, now the second verse of the song, I'm actually playing three different patterns, um, shifting as, as the verse goes along in order to create some kind of developing um, orchestration within the drums. So the first part is almost kind of like a, a disco groove. I'm kind of doing a two-handed hi-hat thing. Uh, so let me start by showing that one. I'll do it at normal speed and then slow it down. So here we go. First, 
first half of the second verse. Now I'll play that same groove much slower. So here we go. Everybody put on your dancing shoes and away we go. Okay, the next stage of development is uh, kind of a more syncopated uh, pattern. Basically, when we're writing this song, I, you know, whenever we're writing a song, I'll try a bunch of different grooves and patterns, uh, and in some cases, I'll spread, I'll, I'll, I'll utilize them all and spread them over a course of one verse, two verse, three verse. But in this case, uh, really, I already had the first verse with the jungle groove. So with this verse, I, I really only had this time to come up with a groove, and I couldn't decide on the disco one or the syncopated one, so I ended up just tossing them both in there. So this is the next stage of development in the second verse, a more syncopated thing. I'll play it fast and then slow it down. Here's that same pattern, now slowed down. And then the third part to this verse is really uh, nothing that complicated, but for the sake of actually uh, completing the phrase, I'll play it for you right now. It's more of just an open groove and probably the most typical part that I should have come up with uh, for a song like this. Um, so it was the, the, really the natural groove that should have accompanied it, and I kind of just had to throw it in there as the final level of, of uh, building for the verse. So here we go. I'll play that one just, just for all you completists out there. Once again, at a slow tempo. 